It was just another day at school. Or so Caillou thought. All of a sudden, Caillou felt a pain in his mouth. Caillou's tooth had come loose. Guys! Guys! Look! My tooth is wobbling! Wow, Caillou! You'll get a visit from the Tooth Fairy soon. Huh? The Tooth Fairy, Caillou? Whenever you lose a tooth, you put it under your pillow, and the Tooth Fairy comes and leaves something special underneath in its place. <gasps> no, Caillou, don't do that. It'll fall out on its own. <sighs> it seemed Caillou would just have to be patient. With that, Caillou decided to wait, but he was so excited for the rest of the day, he could barely concentrate in class. Later that day, after school, Caillou skipped out of the gate to meet Grandma. He couldn't wait to tell Mommy and Daddy about his Aww. loose tooth. That's great, Caillou. Let's take a look. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that looks almost ready to come out. But not yet. Uh, Caillou waited. And waited. <laughs> and waited. Until suddenly, his tooth fell out. <gasps> Mommy, Daddy, it came out! My tooth came out! That's great, Caillou. <laughs> so when will the Tooth Fairy come? Well, first you need to put your tooth under your pillow or she won't know to come and visit. Oh, right, I forgot. We'll all go up together. Okay now, Caillou, place it carefully under your pillow. And let's see in the morning what the Tooth Fairy brings you. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Mommy and Daddy. Caillou sat up in his bed and rubbed his eyes. Suddenly, his eyes <gasps> widened as he remembered what lay waiting beneath his pillow. Just then, Caillou noticed something from the corner of his eye. Something glowed in the corner of his bedroom. <gasps> it was the Tooth Fairy. Well, hello, Caillou. I hear you've lost a tooth. Have you been taking good care of your teeth? <laughs> Where do you take all the teeth, Tooth Fairy? Why, back to Fairyland, of course. We use them to build our fairy castle bigger and bigger. Wow. Oh, good night, Tooth Fairy. Good night, Caillou. I'll take good care of your tooth. Don't forget to check your pillow when you wake up. Caillou had the strangest dream. Remembering suddenly, Caillou sat bolt upright and threw his pillow to the side. <gasps> Under his pillow was a shiny silver quarter and a note. Dear Caillou, Thank you for keeping your tooth so clean. Love from the Tooth Fairy. It was a family day out, and Caillou couldn't wait to explore the botanical garden. Wow! Look at all the colors! Come on, Rosie! 
Let's go take a look around. <gasps> Pretty! Well, Rosie, that's a sunflower. And it's yellow like the sun, see? Sunflower? Yellow! Okay, and this one here, it's white, just like the moon. What's it called, Mommy? Well, that one... Hmm... That one's a moonflower. Wow! Okay, so sunflowers are... Yellow! And moonflowers are... White! <laughs> That one's a rose. It's a rose. A red rose. Hmm. Roses are red. And violets are blue. Sunflowers are yellow. And... Buttercups, too. Moonflowers are... White! Tree leaves are... Aren't these, these the, the greatest, greatest colors, colors you've, you've ever seen? seen? <laughs> <gasps> what is that? That's pollen, Caillou. It can make people sneeze. Oh. Yellow! <laughs> Good job, Rosie. Come on, Rosie. Let's go and play in the maze and see if we can find the fountain. <laughs> oh no, I think I'm lost. I need to get to the middle of the maze. There's a fountain there. Well, you did a good job finding us. How did you manage that? I listened out real hard for the sound of the fountain and followed the sound to the middle of the maze. I'm proud of you, Caillou. That was really thinking on your feet. See, Caillou? Sometimes you might feel lost, but you're actually just on an adventure. Caillou loved exploring the botanical garden, but it was more fun when he was with his family and not lost in the maze. It was a special day in Caillou's family. It was Rosie's birthday, and all the family were outside enjoying the sunshine and having a party. Mommy, Mommy, please, can I go play in the bounce house now? Okay, Caillou, but be careful. And don't forget to remove your shoes. But I don't want to take my shoes off. Better do as we're told, Caillou. Caillou had a great time in the bounce house. But the other kids started to get too rough. Hey! Hey! Stop that! Safely back on solid ground, Caillou looked around for another game to play. Hey, Caillou! Are you all right? Caillou put on a brave face. After all, there were other activities he could do. <laughs> hey! Let's go play pin the tail on the donkey! <laughs> Caillou and his friends began to play pin the tail on the donkey. 
They got very dizzy. <laughs> Leo, that's not where tails go. <laughs> okay, okay. You try, Caillou. Kids, gather round. Rosie, don't forget to make a wish. Rosie made her special birthday wish and blew out her candles all at once. And then... <laughs> How about some presents? Oh, me first, me first. Can I, Mommy? Okay, Caillou, what have you got? Go, Rosie. Happy birthday. Oh. Rosie couldn't believe her luck. Her very own <gasps> teddy bear. Teddy! Good job, Caillou. What a great gift. One more thing, Rosie. Dear Rosie, happy birthday. Have the best day. Love from your brother, Caillou. Oh, Caillou, that's lovely and so well written. Isn't that nice, Rosie? Hmm. Hey, kids, it's time for the pinata. <laughs> Rosie gets first hit. Go, Rosie! <laughs> It was the best birthday Rosie ever had. And Caillou had a pretty good day, too. Caillou had enjoyed a long summer break from school. He'd had lots of fun going to water parks, camping in the garden with Daddy and Gilbert, and playing in the park with Rosie and all his friends. But now, it was time to go back to school. Good morning, Caillou. It's time to get up. You don't want to be late for your first day back at school. Uh, do I have to go back to school, Mommy? Yes, Caillou. You've had a lovely summer, but now it's time to go back and see all your friends. And besides, I thought you wanted to show off your new lunchbox. Oh, yeah! I forgot! And look, Caillou. Here at the end of your bed, your new shoes. And your new backpack. Do you need any help getting dressed? It's okay. I can get dressed all by myself. Okay. I'm going to go and fill your lunchbox with a special surprise lunch. A surprise? That's right. A special treat for your first day back at school. Hey, Caillou, you look great. Are you ready for your first day back at school? Almost. But I can't tie my laces. Come and sit down. I'll teach you. First, you take one lace and put it under the other to make a cross shape. Then, we make a bunny ear out of each lace and cross one bunny ear over the other. The bunny then runs around the tree and then down into its hole, and you're done. Wow! Why don't you try the other one? First, I make a cross. Then the bunny goes in its hole, then around the tree. <laughs> Almost, Caillou. Keep practicing and you'll have it in no time. Caillou, look at you all dressed by yourself and ready for school. Daddy helped me with my laces. Is my lunchbox surprise ready? Here it is. You're not allowed to peek inside before lunchtime. Otherwise, it won't be a surprise. I promise. Mm. 
We should get going, Caillou. Have you brushed your teeth yet? <sighs> nope. I'll go and do it now. <laughs> My, you do look grown up. Caillou made sure to take extra care brushing his teeth so they were all nice and shiny. Well, Caillou, have a lovely day at school and enjoy your surprise. Bye-bye, Mommy. your lunchbox, Caillou. Wow! And a banana with my name on it? How did it grow like that? Wow! I've never seen that before. It's my special surprise. <laughs> Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to enjoy a fun-filled day at the water park. Caillou was being a good older brother and was teaching Rosie how to swim. Okay, Rosie. All you have to do is kick your legs really fast, like this. Now you try. Great job, Rosie. Caillou, you're a very good teacher. Look! Those children are fighting a pirate ship. Looks like they could use your help, Caillou. Come on, Caillou. You need to put some sunscreen on first. But I want to go and battle the pirates! You won't be able to fight the pirates if you get a sunburn. Okay, Mommy. But hurry! We can't let the pirates take over the water park! Ah! It's cold! Hold still, Caillou. Perfect. <laughs> what? Mommy, I can't fight the pirates looking like this. They'll laugh at me. Oh, okay, Captain Caillou. Come here. There. Now you're ready to go and save the day. Come on, Rosie. Let's go sink the pirate ship. Ready? Watch out, Caillou. The pirates are fighting back. Don't worry. I'll get him. Armad overboard! Oh, oh, we, we did, did it! it. Yay! Yay! We did it, Rosie. We stopped the pirates from taking over the water park. Yar! <laughs> After all that excitement, I bet you two could do with a rest. How about we take a ride down the lazy river? That sounds like fun. This is very relaxing. It's a bit slow. Can it go any faster? Why don't we have a race to that palm tree, Caillou? Okay. Here I come, Caillou! Whoa! I did it! I won! Well done, Caillou! Why is the line moving so slowly? Be patient, Caillou. This is the biggest slide at the water park. It'll be worth the wait. <gasps> the biggest? Can't we go on the second biggest slide? Don't worry, Caillou. There are two slides next to each other, so we can go down together. Oh, okay. Are you ready, Mommy? I'm a little scared. Could you hold my hand? 
Of course, Mommy. I'll protect you. Okay. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> See, Caillou? That wasn't so bad, was it? Thanks for holding my hand, Caillou. You're very brave. That was splash-tastic! <laughs> it was school sports day, and Caillou was excited to get started. All his family had come out to watch him compete. All right, kids, the race is about to start. Line up at your marks. On your marks, get set, go! Caillou shot out from the crowd. He was ahead of the rest. <laughs> oh no! Caillou dropped his egg! <laughs> Caillou tried and tried to keep his eggs steady, but he couldn't do it. Caillou! You can do it! Just keep going! Take it easy, slow, and steady. Just when he thought it was all over, Caillou decided he wasn't going to give up. Go, Caillou! Go, Caillou! <laughs> Caillou reached the finish line, and he was so proud of himself. As his friends lifted him into the air, Caillou felt so happy. He realized that it was the taking part that counted. I did it! <laughs> you did so well in the race, Caillou. Not as well as you, Clem. You were so fast, I couldn't catch you! Thanks, Caillou. But you're a winner, too. You completed the race. Even though it was hard, you carried on. Wow! Thanks! That was a lot of fun. Congratulations, Caillou! <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, look what I got! Very good, Caillou. We knew you could do it. All right, what's next? Looks like Rosie's proud of her big brother. <laughs> okay, class, it's almost time for the weekend. So that means it's time to choose who gets to take home the class pet, Gerald. <gasps> now, who wants to take him home? Caillou, why don't you take Gerald today? <laughs> so I get to feed him and play with him, and then tomorrow he gets to run around in his ball. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead! It's breakfast time! Come on! Mommy says you can play in your ball today! Caillou, 
Leo's here. Coming, Mommy. Wait here, Gerald. Hey, Caillou. Hey, Leo. You want to come and see Gerald? I was just about to take him outside. Sure. So he needs to get some exercise, so I put him in his ball. <gasps> oh, no! What's wrong, Caillou? Where's <gasps> Gerald? I left him here, and now he's gone! <gasps> Mommy! I left Gerald in his ball, and he's disappeared! Don't worry, <laughs> Caillou. We'll find him. the end of a busy day, and Caillou wanted a bedtime story. <gasps> Daddy, would you read to me? All right, Caillou. Scooch over. This is the story of a time-traveling global adventurer. In the plains of Africa, wild animals roam. You never know what you'll find. <gasps> Did you feel that, Caillou? Ah! Oh, no! <gasps> Hop in, Caillou! Ah! Phew! I made it! That was a close one, Caillou! In the great ice sheets of the Arctic, extraordinary sights are never far away. Caillou, let's see what else we can find. <gasps> Looks like you've made friends there, Caillou. And in the great pyramids of ancient Egypt, you never know what friends you could make. <laughs> wow, Caillou, you look just like a real ancient pharaoh. So do you! On the other side of the Mediterranean Sea, Paris. 
a city of history, food, and art. Bonjour, Caillou. Very good. What do you say we go and see the real thing? Yeah! <gasps> wow! Can we go up? Sure, Caillou. Let's go. <gasps> Quite a view, huh, Caillou? <sighs> That's enough excitement for one night. Time for bed. I just need to get out of here before the sheriff arrives. <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy. Well, well, well. Looky here. That money isn't yours. It is now. I'm the sheriff in these parts, and I say you have to give it back. <laughs> Take you to jail. Well, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Draw! you all might be hungry after saving the day, so I brought you some cowboy cookies. Wow! Thanks, Mommy! These ought to keep you full of energy for your next adventure. Yeah! And Sheriff Caillou is always ready to save the day! Caillou! Wait up! Look! They're having soccer trials. 
that's tomorrow after school. <laughs> Wanna go? Oh, great shot, Caillou. Thanks, Daddy. I'm going to be the best soccer player ever. Just don't forget us when you become a big star. Great job, Caillou! We'll need some of that for the championship game next week to help us win the trophy. Well, Caillou, you just need to keep trying, and maybe next time she'll score. But I want to win. And you can, Caillou. But the only way to do that is to work together as a team. Hmm? Hmm. Let's go, Caillou! Yay, Caillou! Championship trophy goes to Greenwood! <laughs> <Are you? laughs> <Are you? laughs> 